Procedure for Installing Kent Mini Water Softener Step 1 Unpacking of Kent Mini Water Softener Carefully place the Kent Mini Water Softener packing box on the plain surface. Open the packing box with the help of knife. Take out regeneration salt packet from the packing box. Remove the thermocol packing. Take out Kent Mini Water Softener from the packing box. Place the mini water softener on the plain surface carefully. Cut the packing tape and remove the thermocol packing. Remove the thermocol packing fixed at the lower side of the Kent mini water softener. Remove the brine chamber lid and mesh. Take out all the accessories from the packing box. Open the packing box of regeneration salt. Fix the brine chamber mesh and lid again. Remove the polythene cover from the Kent Mini Water Softener. Items in the box Kent Mini Water Softener 1 Fitting for geyser and dishwasher, one each. Food grade white pipe, three by eight inches, five meters. Salt pouch for regeneration, five. Screws and plastic inserts, four each. Three-way connector, one. SS ball walls, one. Instruction manual, one. Drilling sticker 1. Step 2 Setting up the water connection. Keep all the plumbing accessories and tools ready before turning off the main water supply line so that it gets interrupted for a minimum time. Turn off the main water supply line. Always install mini water softener on the normal water supply and not on the hot water supply. Take out the tap from water supply line carefully using a pipe wrench. This is a three-way connector with an external thread. Use a Teflon tape to create a leak-free joint. It should be wrapped tightly on a three-way connector in a clockwise direction only. Otherwise, it may loosen during tightening on water supply line. Cut off the excess tape. Insert external thread end of the three-way connector into the water supply line. Use Teflon tape on the tap to create a leak-free joint. Now, insert the tab into the hex end of the three-way connector and tighten it using pipe wrench. This is a SS ball valve. Use Teflon tape again on the SS ball valve thread to create a leak-free joint. Insert SS ball valve into 1 by 4 inches port of the three-way connector. Take the white pipe and broaden up its mouth from one end by inserting a screwdriver into it. Remove the hex nut present on the SS ball valve. 
Insert this hex nut in the white pipe from the non-broadened end. Push the broadened end of the white pipe onto the SS bulb valve. Make sure that pipe completely slips over the nipple of the SS bulb valve. Tighten securely the hex nut on the SS ball valve to lock the pipe in its place. The water supply remains off when the lever is perpendicular to the SS ball valve body. The water supply remains on when the lever is parallel to the SS ball valve body. Step 3 Making preparations to mount the Kent Mini Water Softener. This is drilling sticker with measured markings. Check for the proper horizontal level, which should be a plain even surface. The drilling sticker should not be pasted inclined. Stick the drilling sticker in a proper horizontal straight line. Drill carefully two holes into the sticker markings using 8 mm drill bit. Drill holes to such a depth that the plastic inserts could go completely inside the hole. Push plastic inserts into the holes using a hammer. Insert two self-taping screws in both the holes using a screwdriver. Do not use hammer. Step 4 Installing the Kent Mini Water Softener Hang the mini water softener on the surface using slotted holes present on the back side. It should be about 3 feet above the ground level so that the regeneration process can be done conveniently. Measure the distance between tap and the inlet of Kent Mini Water Softener. Cut the extra length of pipe. Fix the free end of the white pipe into the bottom of inlet T-ball valve. It is water inlet of the Mini Water Softener. Fix one piece of white pipe at the bottom of the outlet. T-ball wall fixed on the right side to drain out dirty water at the time of regeneration. Keep both the T-ball walls in horizontal position to get soft water. Step 5 Installing Kent Mini Water Softener with Washing Machine. Wrap Teflon tape on the top side of the outlet T-ball valve. Fix hex nipple without threading on the top side of the outlet T-ball valve of Mini Water Softener. Fix inlet pipe of washing machine on the hex nipple. Remove the salt chamber lid. Open the packet of regeneration salt. Put it into the brine chamber mesh and fill it with water. Put back the brine chamber lid to its previous position. The salt takes about an hour to dissolve. So always keep brine solution ready for next generation process. Step 6 Installing Kent Mini Water Softener with Geyser Wrap Teflon tape on the top side of the outlet T-ball valve. Wrap Teflon tape on the threading of hex nipple. Fix hex nipple having half an inch thread on the top side of the outlet T-ball valve, fixed at the outlet of the mini water softener. Fix half an inch nut of the inlet pipe of the geyser to the hex nipple.
Remove the salt chamber lid. Open the packet of regeneration salt. Put it into the brine chamber mesh and fill it with water. Put back the salt chamber lid to its previous position. The salt takes about an hour to dissolve. So always keep brine solution ready for next generation process. Step 7 Regeneration process After drawing water, approx 150 liters to 200 liters, depending upon hardness, a regeneration is required so that resin beads can work again with full efficiency. During this process, the calcium and magnesium ions are flushed back into the drain and sodium ions are attached to resin beads. Before regeneration, make sure that the brine chamber is full of regeneration salt and water. If the chamber is empty, put salt and fill it with water. Put back the salt chamber lid to its previous position. Wait for an hour so that the salt gets dissolved in water. Rotate inlet T-ball valve and outlet T-ball valve in anti-clockwise direction so that the position of both the valves becomes vertical as inlet T-ball valve downwards, outlet T-ball valve upwards. Wait for 15 minutes. During first 4 to 5 minutes, the brine solution will start flowing towards the resin housing and the salt chamber will become empty. Due to the brine solution pressure, water from the resin chamber will pass through the pipe fixed on the lower side of the outlet T-ball valve. During the next 10 minutes, the brine solution will react with the resin. Now rotate the inlet T-ball valve in a horizontal position. Let the water pass through the resin for 4 to 5 minutes so that all the dirty water having calcium and magnesium goes into the drain. In the end, rotate the right side of outlet T-ball valve in the horizontal position. Now the Kent Mini water softener is ready for use. Now the next generation put one packet of regeneration salt in the brine chamber and fill it with water. Now put back the salt chamber lid to its previous position.